Welcome to episode 2 of Poems Only, a series where I try to beat Genshin Impact with only poem characters. In episode 1, I spent a majority of my time rerolling an account to wish for Xiao, but was met with failure, as the best accounts I got were one with Candice and another with Chevrus. Before I gave up, however, I went on to one of my beginner accounts that saved quite a few primo gems and actually won a 50 50 for Xiao and got a Candice from the standard banner on the same account. So I let you decide which account I should start with, and sure enough, people overwhelmingly voted for the account with Xiao. So here we are, and the suffering begins. No! But before that, I have a short announcement to make. Thank you to Samsung Galaxy for sponsoring this video. I'm excited to announce that I'll be participating in the Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact event powered by Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on April 21st at 12pm Pacific Time. This also concerns you, because me and 15 other Genshin creators will be competing in teams of 4 to see which one of us is the best mobile Genshin player and knows the game the best. There will be a $40,000 prize pool, but more importantly, half of the winnings will be given to the winning team for giveaways. So you, the viewers, have a chance to win as well. And to participate for the reward, be sure to follow my stream and watch me live during the event, which will be linked in the description. In Galaxy Battles Genshin Impact, we will all be using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which features a QHD Plus display that allows for a high quality gaming experience, with beautiful visuals while remaining high performing, backed by the powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, which is the fastest one for the Samsung Galaxy series yet. With a two times larger vapor chamber cooling system that allows for low temperatures and high performance on the highest settings. The S24 Ultra is the ultimate mobile phone for a great gaming experience. Even though I'm known for having skill issues on mobile, the phone's performance and stunning QHD Plus display makes it feel like I'm playing on PC. The S24 Ultra also comes with a Samsung's new Galaxy AI experience, with features such as Live Translate with Galaxy AI, which translates what you say directly into a different language of your choice. For example, I can select to translate to Japanese, and Galaxy AI will directly translate my speech real-time to the person I am calling. Get your own S24 Ultra from the link in the description, and I hope to see you on stream during the live Galaxy Battle Tournament. Now let's get back into the video. But like, I don't know, for Xiao, do I just like switch into a different weapon? Do I use a black tassel? I'm not in Liu yet, so I don't have a white tassel, so... This is the best I can get. Uh, yo yo, let's see. I have another black tassel, I guess, for her. Um, artifact-wise, I would just give her some healing one, I guess. More HP is better. I'm essentially building my characters now. Uh, let's see, circlet. I'll just get a good damage one. I also got Candice. Let's do physical damage and then... Yeah? This is my team right now, currently. Okay, I think I'm just gonna give healing bonus to y'all instead. Yeah, I think this works. Should I level them up as well? Oh, well, I'll do level 1 first. Let's see how hard this is. It can't be that hard. Leyline farming gameplay, yes, at level 1. Let's see how hard this is. Okay. I forgot how underwhelming Xiao is with our proper team though, so... This will be definitely very hard for me. But thankfully I'm still at like world level 0, so it's not as bad. I don't know how to play Candice to be honest, this is the first time I'm playing her. Oh, I'm getting like bloom damage. That's good. Okay, I can get 4 of them, so that's good. But yeah, uh, let me just go through this part though, the Shadow of a Monster, and then we can do the other ones. Um, right now I'm just doing this clay, clay, not clay more, poor arms only account. Um, trying to get to like, the uh, event. <laughs> I don't know what adventure rank I need to go to though, like B. So in order to unlock events on this account, I had to first get through the Monster Archon quest yet again. I feel like I'm making a mistake not leveling up my characters, but I want to challenge. I don't have to be level 3 to challenge myself. I also kept my characters at level 1 to spice things up and hopefully suffer. Oh wait, I gotta fight this ball now, yeah, um... I guess... I'll try blooming them. Level 15? Alright, get down. I don't know how much I'm doing with my boom damage. I guess it's pretty good since the enemy is already like half HP done. Gone. I forgot where I should hide. Like up here maybe? Wait. What? It's impossible not to take damage here. Funny thing is Yaya actually does like around the same damage as my show right now. Oh, 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 oh. It's stuck, it can't move. Okay, last hit. Should be able to do it. Yep. I'm just leveling up by doing the Archon quest right now. 
I'm just saving my books, I guess. Oh. I know she could do this, by the way. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I always like to get a chest for some reason. Like over here. Oh, blue book, actually. That's pretty good. I would not hire any of these guards for myself because they are definitely not helpful. I'm just like someone that's breaking into the church and walking and then they don't see me. Nope. Like I'm really standing right in front of them. After sneaking into the church, the Fatuis took the Holy Liar before we could. And we just did the most sus thing possible by escaping along with Venti into the tavern for shelter. Afterwards, we went to hunt down the Fatuis by breaking into their hideout undercover. And inside the domain, I made a pretty big discovery. Oh, hello. But it's like the first part of info. Oh, let me see what I can do with Perry. Uh, attack me. Oh. Okay. Didn't know you could hold this down, actually, so... We learn something new every day, right? After beating up the baddie with Xiao, we return to the tavern to plan our next move, which led us to another domain. Okay, so this ball is just a pain to fight, and I'm not really gonna bother, so... Yeah, let's go into the domain. Hopefully the ball doesn't bother us. Okay, Helicho, hmm... Easy. When do I get my first white tassel though? Like, I need a crit rate poem. Oh, let me see if Candace can like parry this. Oh, I didn't take damage there. Okay. Was that Candace's like a uh, feature by the way? Like, I was able to explode a barrel without taking damage. I need that end as a best mage or something. I forgot which element was. Probably like pyro or something. But we have Candace, so. This should be easy. How much am I doing with Bloom? Let me see. 66. Nice. And then we're done, right? We go meet back in the Dawn Winery and then we should be able to finish this part of the quest. So we assemble back to the Dawn Winery to fix the last holy liar before confronting Tavalin, who we learned was getting controlled by Donald Duck. And after that, we completed the quest. Okay. Done with one of our quests now. Next is AR18, which is a pretty long way to go. Does anyone know what AR I unlock the new event? Is it AR18 or is it AR20? AR20? Okay, okay. Hmm. Should I do Kaios's quest then? Alright, watch me. Watch me do Kaios's quest. So in order to unlock events and the next part of the Archon quest, I had to level up my adventure rank, so I decided to start a Kaya's story quest. We basically just conveniently chatted outside of Favonius Night headquarters, and was given clues to find a hidden treasure. But before that, there was something I had to go through first. Okay, so the good thing about me having Xiao is I can do this without Rosaria or Mika. I mean, if I had Mika, then maybe it would be or Rosaria at least, it would be easy, but like... Strats is basically Swirl. No, 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 I don't want him to die. Well, one slash of Xiao will probably kill it, so that's pretty bad. Uh, I need three of them, right? So I can't kill him. If I kill him, I might just fill the quest forever. Okay, okay, there's two over here. All right, one more. I killed one, see? That's a bad part because... If I kill all three of them, then I wouldn't have been, been able to do this. But I'm able to actually do this, which is nice. We found a hidden domain and went through without breaking a sweat. Even against the final boss. Well, this room guard was easy. It didn't really do much to me. We were able to complete the quest pretty quickly. And headed to Mondstadt to find Amber in order to start her story quest as well. Well, you guys know the tradition. Maybe you should leave a like and also uh, leave a comment in chat. To suggest what I should do on poems only. Like who should I even pull next? Should I pull a woman banner? I don't know. So we went through a series of gliding tests conducted by Amber before we were rudely halted by a knight who suspected us to be a criminal. Okay, this will either take me 10 minutes or take me 1 hour. This next part, because I can't use a bow character. Shell might make it easier, but we'll see. Animal only has definitely still kinda... Traumatized me- No! Why am I always, like, getting... A second cutscene because Xiangling decided to just show up. I like how she's telling me to be quiet, but there's literally a board overlapping. You know what? Never mind. Just get me out of this cutscene so I can continue Ambrose's quest. Thanks. 
We got to AR-15 and found yet another domain to infiltrate. After that, we gave the helicopter inside a nice shower. Well, this is the easy part. The next part is the more challenging part where I actually have to do some parkour. Hmm. Let me see. Okay, so first of all, no. Oh, I can actually glide. Climb here? What? Wait, I can't. Oh, I'm still safe. There we go. I want to see if Yao Yao can like hit the uh, helicopter here. So let me do the Yao Yao test first. I can throw it up there, right? Wait, I can't. It's too far. Too far. Oh, wait, I actually did. It blew the helicopter up. So that's good. Just what we needed. So I don't need to jump up. Even though I could jump up as well. It's not really like a um, impossible jump. Okay. This one, you don't need pyro. You can just plunge attack. Okay. It's our favorite part now. I don't know. I kind of don't risk using uh, Yue Gui. I think I could probably just use Yue Gui and just jump up, right? I could do it up later, technically. And then just destroy everything. But do I want to do that, though? I'd rather just, like, suffer. Just watch. Even though there's, like, enemies shooting me, it's kind of annoying. But my AI can kill me. Uh, Yue Gui? Yeah, thank you. As someone that's been stuck here for three hours already in the past, watch me do this first try. See, we got one down. Shao could probably just go like over there easily, but I wanna do it in a way where we don't use Shao because it makes it easier and make it seem like I'm better at this game than everyone else. Okay. Got a second one down. And then last, last but not least, push this down and then we can attack them. Easy, right? Not suffering. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just like, don't know what to do with myself. I'm too good at this game, right? Can't really suffer even if I want to. So like the reason why I didn't break a barrel is because I can jump up there with my barrel, right? So if you don't break a barrel, you have an extra like Distance basically. But the second time you can break a barrel because the enemies will spawn twice. So there's a second wave I had to like attack the enemies from. Ow. Okay. I got super con conducted, so it was like pretty bad. This time there's like cryo, like. Helichos as well. So the second time I would say it's harder because of that alone. But this time I'm hoping. Yep. Don't shoot me in mid air, please. Okay, I'll just get hit right now. Yeah. Keep hitting me. <laughs> okay, okay, I just don't know why my jump button didn't work. My space button broke. Alright. Can I please jump this time? There we go. Serious? Okay, you know what? I just want to practice jumping more, that's why. Let's do more jumps. Okay, so... I blame the Helicho right there. I didn't, like, miss my jump winning. Wait, oh! This Helicho just came down by itself. It's flattered by my jump, that's why. Alright, tank it, yeah. And then... Pretty easy. And if there's a cryo one over there, I'll just push it down as well. Same thing. I just made it a little bit difficult for myself, but like, we got through without any explosion, so. That's good. And that's basically Amber's domain. Pretty easy, right? I don't know why, but every time I say something is easy, another thing will just go wrong. And I basically just eat my own words. Wait, I fell! <laughs> got scammed! This is a bad ending that Amber gets. Nevertheless, I still completed the quest, which was enough for us to be able to continue the Monster Archon quest. So I met back up with the Devolent Rescue Squad at Dawn Winery and continued on the prologue. I find my level might be problematic as well, cause like I'm so low level right now that enemies are just pretty much over leveled. But I guess since I want to struggle a little bit in the Archon quest and just kind of 
see how far I can take without leveling up my characters. And ch just challenge myself because this Arkham Quest is pretty easy in general, so. We broke through the barrier to Storm Terrace's lair and quickly completed the quests here in order to confirm the volume for the final boss battle. Uh, I'm just gonna hope I don't die. Even the shield is hard to destroy for this. Okay. But I broke it though. And don't lie, how many of you don't know how to climb up into the Volans' like... back, I guess? For the first time you fought this. I'm pretty sure I was using Amber to just aim at a little ding. Okay, I think I did pretty good damage actually. Not bad. Okay, this time around I can't really do anything because I don't have any bursts up. Because... New account things don't have anything. But I managed to do half HP. The Volans actually double my level, so... It's pretty hard. Like this fight, but now I feel like anybody can just kill it because this game has definitely been power clip. But still, it was a pretty long fight though. After defeating the Valen, we undo his brainwashing and was able to save Mondstadt. We went to the church to return the Holy Liar to Barbara and was ambushed by Signora right outside the Mondstadt church. But most importantly, we completed the Archon quest and was finally able to unlock the limited time event in order to obtain a new poem weapon for Xiao. But I just want to complete my goal for today, so basically this is what I wanted to do. Make Xiao a magical girl, and... <laughs> this is good, right? Completed my goal. I think I'll upgrade my weapon later though. But this is very fitting. But I do want my Xiao Link, so... Surely I'm able to beat floor 3, right? I don't have a full team yet, but I can try. Well, right now I'm at AR... Not AR, but level 14. If I level my characters up to 40, I think it should be easy. But let me try and challenge at level 14 and see. I might level up my weapon, though. Did I even get any white tassels, by the way? I didn't! Do you guys know a secret way to get white tassel? Or should I actually just go find chests or something? Because right now I'm just at, like, zero white tassels. I don't think I also opened any chests at all in the US, so <laughs> that might be the reason. Next, I tried getting through three floors of the abyss to unlock Xiangling. Spiral Abyss. I like how the first time it's like, I don't know, it looks very like special and prestigious, this thing. Geo damage? I don't have Geo characters. Pyro damage? I don't have Xiangling. Okay. Well, let's see how fast we can clear this. I mean, I bet so far, I think the first chamber is easy, but we're already fighting against enemies that are like literally 10 levels above us, so... It is already pretty hard, but I just want to hopefully get Xiangling, so... If I, even if I don't get 3 star, I think it's fine as long as I can clear the abyss. But luckily, before floor 5, I'm able to just use one team, so I don't have to split anybody up just yet. Why did I lost 3 stars? What? Am I not weak? <laughs> Wow. What? Still alive? How's the show just like... Alright. Interesting. Alright. Three more enemies and we get Xiangling. Even though we didn't get three stars. For any of them. That's fine. I'll claim my Primo Gems in a later date. Never mind. I am pretty bad at time management and I'm only at the second chamber. <laughs> Wait, I thought I did three chambers already. What? I'm still so far. They're level 40, so I think I thought that like, I was like chamber three already. Well, yeah, I'm trying to get Shanling right now, so that's why I'm in a bliss. But after the floor three, I'm leaving. Because <laughs> it's too painful right now against like the higher level enemies. I also want to find a white tassel I can, so I can actually raise a weapon for my shell. Because a white tassel will be a pretty good temporary weapon for myself until I get like enough for another like weapon or something. Wait, I'm almost dead! Alright, let's heal up. Alright, slice some more eggs. Dungeon? No? It's so weird to see like Xiao just jumping 10 billion times and then the enemies are still alive. Oh no! No! Get out! Stop! No! I'm... Okay, I don't care about this mage. Cause I have Yao Yao and I think Yao can destroy the show fast. I just don't want the, the slime to like swallow up my ley line, please. I have 60% still. Please. Okay, okay, it's targeting me. Uh, where's the best mage at? Alright, best mage is also targeting me, which is fine. No, bubble! Okay, I, you see that? I saved my ley line because. Well, 
words can't describe how upset I am now. When I get stronger, I swear I'll come back and just one shot all of them. I stop. I managed to stop a slow bubble, okay, but a fast bubble, I didn't have a fast reaction time, I guess, to stop it on time, but... I mean, it's fine. I'm still getting two stars. I think the next character, I think, will be the most beneficial for poor arms only. It's definitely the Cryo, right? I mean, besides Xiangling, I guess. Because, like, Cryo, we can start doing freeze team with Candice as well. So it might actually be, like, easier for me to get through. But yeah, definitely though, have to look out for a cryo character getting on a banner. Alright, floor 3 finally. Increased swirl damage and also animal damage. Perfect for my shell, right? Oh yeah, I, I love these kind of chambers because I can just eat the enemies off. They just one shot at me, what? Yeah, I think I just spoke too soon again. Did I get vaporized or melted or something? Like, that does so much to me. Well, I guess I'll just fight normally. I'm not gonna like... Eat him off the cliff. Alright, one down. Oh, Candace can actually push him down very, like, fast. I can try Candace more. No! I didn't know he could fell, fall down as well. That happens? Just pretend you guys didn't see that. You erase that from your memories. This is my, this is my real first try, okay? I wonder what enemies are in here. Oh, some level 45... Slimes and Helichuals. Okay. Should be easy though, as my shell will just be plunging most of the time. Okay, let's push him down. What? How did you not get pushed? I clearly, like, shield bashed you. Okay. I'm not gonna push him anymore. I'm just gonna fight normally, and they'll just die. I gave up on cheesing them. There's only the first chamber, by the way, so it's just gonna get harder and harder, right? Alright, slimes I knew would just come to you, so I don't really need to care about it that much. Alright, it's one down. Ow. I need to go heal. Like, I didn't know how hard you need to work for Shaolin, by the way. I'm also doing more damage because of the animal bonus on this floor as well, so... Without that, it'll be even harder. Okay. Let's group them up together, and then we can just... swallow them. Nice. Come back. Ooh, pretty nice damage actually. But I'm also taking a lot of damage, so I gotta watch out. Oh, no! Am I still alive? Okay, I am. All right, this chamber is f full of uh, treasure hoarders, which is fine. Even if I die, I am going to be at Chamber 2 still, so... My burst is coming back pretty slowly, though. Definitely need more energy on my shell. Yeah, luckily, there's no star requirement, so... Even if you get zero stars, you can still get a reward, which is shelling. And our fourth poem character, so we can finally have a full team afterwards. I haven't killed any yet! And also, I need to heal, so I can't waste my burst there. I said I didn't burst yet. Okay. Why am I so weak? <sighs> okay. All right. So this is more treasure holders. That's it. Okay. So if I walk to the corner, will they follow me? Oh, one is following me. Okay. Got one sucker. What? All right. Who's next? All right. This one is next. No, 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 Oh, okay. We're still safe. Oh, there's another one behind me. With a shovel. Yeah, I think at this point, pushing them down is faster than just killing them. So, that's why I'm just gonna do it. I run into the risk of falling down myself, though, so I gotta watch out. I have a minute left. I don't even know if I have time for this, though, like... Only 1 minute and 30 seconds left. Alright. And poems aren't exactly the best characters for charge attacks because I might just fall down myself because of it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Who's next? More? I think they're the last ones. But I'm gonna start bursting and see. Is that my burst back? No stars left. 
50 seconds. No! Shall I... I'm very, very done with this. Like... Am I still at the second chamber? <laughs> I feel like I need more stamina, because I keep running out. Alright, this time I'm going to change strategies. I'm just going to focus on pushing the treasure holders down. I'm getting tired of treasure holder, like, voice lines as well. Get down. Okay. Get down. Watch me just get flinged down as well. Okay. Oh, well, I got four at least, but I need to heal up, so let's just do it real quick. Which one is the one that's throwing the cryo one? Okay, this one. You die first. I call the other one just like staring at their comrades getting pushed down. Alright, shovel guy. You're next. This one is very thick though, so it's kind of hard. Oh, let's push it the opposite way. I have three more minutes. I'm halfway done. Alright, that was nice. Three. Like two die at the same time. Let's. Oh, okay, I almost fell down again. <laughs> I think I'm doing better on time this time. Ironically, it's better not to kill him, but just push him down because my level is too low. Oh, okay, okay. Alright, last few left. Let's change sides and go this way. Okay, I'm not playing anymore. Sounding is just not worth it. I got overloaded or something. I managed to abandon the challenge and just level all my, all my artifact, to be honest. I should level all my characters and just make it easier for me. Well, that was basically the last straw. So I just leveled all my weapons to hopefully have a better time in the abyss and try it again. But like, I don't know how I got overloaded last time. Like, I was playing so carefully as well. But I kind of knew that might have happened as well because just the fact that there's pyro enemies as well. Okay. Ow. How are you not dead yet? Oh, there's another one. What? How come they have super armor? I don't even know when I can like push them. Like this one especially, like Alright. I died. It's so hard to like manipulate the AI to like go backwards as well. There's two big guys now! You know what? Let's see what happens if I do this. Can I just plunge him down slowly but surely? No? Oh, nice! That was cool. Okay, okay. Can I just push you? Okay. <laughs> okay, last ones. Right? 40 seconds. I'm just gonna try to kill him. 7 seconds. Did I do it? No. What? I still have 2 seconds left, okay? I wanted to like, squeeze the most without leveling up my characters. But I guess I have to now. To make it easier for me. I can't even ascend them as well. I mean, I guess that's entertainment, right? I guess we're able to see. Can I even ascend her? No. Let's get a flawless run here. Alright, we still have 2 minutes and 30 seconds to spare this time. Last time we ran out of time. Ooh. Poke its eye. Oh, we got this as well. The Northlander Poem Billet. Is this good for any of my characters, by the way? Like, can I craft a poem right now? Alright, got our fourth poem character now. Don't know, like, we don't have any constellations just yet, but she still should be, like, a pretty good 
teammate to have as well now. So since I have 21,000 Primo Gems, I'm pretty sure I have enough for Articuno. But assuming I won a 50-50, what do you think I should do next? Save for the next poor arm character, we'll go for more constellations, or even her weapon. My endgame is clearing the abyss, ideally with 36 stars. So let me know in the comments on what I should do next.